What is going on, my YouTube friends? Well, uh, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. They haven't been posted on the actual like YouTube thing from the Grammys yet. So I don't know. They might not go on YouTube, but Patreon friends, I've heard nothing but greatness about Dua Lipa's performance. And I think she did two songs. It doesn't say on this. Maybe it says if I X out of this. Uh, Training Seasons and Houdini. I don't think I've heard either of them, man, but like I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit of a mashup because it's only four, four and three quarters. Um, so let's pull this up and let's check this out, y'all. Y'all probably want to hear it, don't you? Here we go. Woo! Not how I want to be working out, y'all. I missed where she was coming out with Oh, shit. So hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all, because I'm going to be distracted. Like, okay, a little bit of history here. I used to work at, like, our local stadium lots. I've built lots of these friggin' things. And they always, for insurance purposes and for my heart's purposes, they always have safeties and stuff. And I don't think she's strapped up to nothing, y'all. Like, none of them. None of them. But it's just... I don't want to be that guy, but it's one thing to have the superstar not strapped up. It's another thing to have like your back to da backup dancers and everyone not strapped up. Because like for all we know, this might be what all these people do. I don't think Dua Lipa is doing this in her spare time all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's flexing, man, because especially singing that like head voice, that falsetto, while having to do this like trapeze act or acrobatics kind of thing. I gotta hear the performance now. Come on, y'all. Crap, man. I seen this scene, but I had no idea what was going on. I didn't see it like this panned out like this. And listen to the audience go crazy. Oh, man. Good for her. Good for her. I was going to say something about Wolverine here on our right. I'm just, I'm so worried for all these backup dancers, man. I keep waiting for one of them to like smack their chin or something. Oh, man. This is quite the performance. I guess it's that high risk, high reward type thing, right? Unreal. Unreal. This is the transition. Man, killer, killer intro. Perfor like, this part, the intense part, the straining part for my heart, that part aside, she ate that, man. I really hope that disco makes a comeback because this feels so disco to me. <laughs> and she, like, I love that she's not trying to over sing. She's just sticking to like a placement, at least for the song, that is really fitting for her voice. And I don't know. She might be able to sing real high. She might be able to sing very low, like real low. I haven't watched enough Dua to like know. But I thought that was a killer performance, man. She, did, she like sat in that space that she's really good at. Said, this is why I do this, right? And then on top of that, she's getting pushed around in this metal cage. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's hear this. Hey. Ah, oh, here's the band. Sweet.
Come on. She, there's a lot of like human elements to her voice like it has like a a waver and that's probably just like an adrenaline versus vibrato thing and it might have been a vibrato moment but to me it sounded like just human waver in a, in a voice like she hit the note clean it was a good note but you could like hear it would be like the intonation maybe or just like her enunciation of it change and if they did a bunch of editing and like auto tuning and shit like that like that i just don't think those little characteristics would be there man so good for her Good for her, man. Like, she looks great. She must be, like, in shape, in shape to be able to perform like this, right? Like, to be able to sing, move around like this. And she's not going crazy, but, like, she's doing enough that you think it would interrupt, like, a regular person's voice, right? But... God, it's a groove. Oh shit. But do you practice everything that you preach? I need something that'll make me believe. If you got it, baby, give it to me. They say I come and I go. Tell me all the ways you need me. I'm not here for long. Catch me or I go. Houdini, I come and I go. Prove you got the right to please me. Everybody knows. Catch me or Love that. Uh, they can do a breakdown too, or a dance breakdown. So I do want to say, I do want to say, and I don't want this to sound like hate or anything like that because I think it's a praising moment, but like her choreo and everything looks so much more rehearsed than in the last video that I watched. And I can't I can't even remember which video it was. I think it was a great performance. I just feel like like the choreo looks so much more intentional or like a part of the performance in this. And I think that she's doing a really good job of it, man. Like I uh, one of our moderators actually it, um told me that she had kind of not like a glow up, maybe like a glow up, but she like spent a lot of time working on it and like I think you could see it, man. I honestly think you could see it. <clears throat> This is a great performance, man. I'm excited for the dance breakdown. That's cool. Stargaze is kind of a weird long camera cut. Great camera angle. Great shot. Catch me or I go Houdini. I bet she's out of breath, man. She gave like she performed the shit of that, huh? Come on, let's get some claps. Let's get some claps all. Killer performance, man. I like, like I said, I think that she really showed like a, a maturity or an, or an attention or like a development in the choreo, man. And her performances, as far as I've seen, have always been good. But, like she ate that, man. I don't think she like she did anything that seemed too out of place. I think everything she did with confidence, she just like displayed a lot of confidence in this whole thing. And like I just can't express enough, man. Like, I, I like being paranoid for singers and performers and stuff like that, but that must have been adrenaline building and hard to do, like, just hanging onto a steel pipe like that. That trussing stuff, man, like lighting trussing and whatever, however they built that up, it's not comfortable. And I'm sure it's not 
like the smoothest as, as it's ever been. It's probably been banged up in trucks and carried around and like, I'm not going to lie, technicians just like tossing things where they go, especially big trussing like that. Like I'm assuming that it's going to have some dents and scuffs to it. It's not going to make it easier, my friends. This is a great performance. I love this. See you on the next one.